Hello and welcome. It is September 9th, 2018. We're here for an inspired meditation. This one is to resolve the ego matrix. I was shown this morning that one of the biggest hurdles for humanity is to resolve and dissolve the ego matrix that has been held in the lower three chakras. That's the sacral in the uh, solar plexus, the sacral and the root chakras, which had to do with the densest aspect of our physical manifestation. The ego matrix having functioned in the lower three chakras, it has been, uh, it is what is held our mental and emotional bodies together in a way that is more focused on the outer world, more focused on the physical human aspect and gratifying the self as just merely a physical being. And as these new activations are happening in this next harmonic universe, then it is really time to embody the frequencies, the energies, whatever you want to call it, and especially the, the Christic avatar human being, which was to function with a, a actually a 15 chakra system and that uh, held together the 12 dimensional human avatar. And if you've watched any of our previous sessions, I kind of went into uh, had, had some explanation of that. And for the purposes for today, this is mainly to focus on this meditation. And I'll be doing a vlog talking a little bit more about what these. Uh, how this evolution is now taking place. One of the things that we're going to do today is engage the new earth star or the 12th chakra. This is below six to eight inches below our feet. Now I know that a lot of people aren't talking about the new earth star forming and I am only aware of it because Sammy is the um, actually, it is the new earth star is being birthed through her dragon chakra. So the dragon chakra is um, about three feet below Sammy's feet. Not many can hold that dragon chakra. The dragon chakra is not dimensional as we um, might might see it. It's it's actually non-dimensional, and it's an it's a, an access point to get to the original source codes. Is what my understanding is at this time. And so, in the last month or so, I've been watching now this new Earth star forming out of Sammy's Dragon Chakra. So I've had a first row view of the different stages that it has um, been undertaking. Uh, but for today, like I said, I want to focus on this uh, ego matrix that will assist, hopefully many of you listening, to resolve that ego pattern in the lower three chakras. It's still, it's still functioning at various levels for, um, for many, many people. Um, but again, I'll, do a, I'll be doing a, a vlog on, on the dragon chakra and the earth star that's now forming. And I'll interject little awarenesses as we go into this meditation. So if everyone is ready, 
going to engage the Dyna Shield. Engage the Dyna Shield around yourself and really lock it down, sealing you, sealing you in your own avatar light body. There's a connection, runs down the center column of your being. Going to connect that light body to the earth star that is forming. It's due to be completed as we pass through the 1111 gateway and today uh, as, a, as a 9 9 gateway, and so I've seen it. Seeing what this uh, Earth Star is is bringing forth, and it is as it is, it is still forming. So, again, allow that Dyna Shield to completely seal you to remove any outside noise and any discordant energies that might be outside of you or from humanity to mm, to be filtered out so that you can align as cleanly as possible with little effort from your total beingness to have to keep out, let's say the noise of vibrations that run through our world. So breathe deeply Exhale deeply, inhale deeply, exhale fully, inhale one more time, exhale one more time. Let us begin. So our chakra systems, or our access points, I'm just going to call them access points. These dimensional access points that we call chakras are operating in as triads. So I'm going to engage all five triads in spheres. But for today, you don't need to know exactly where they are. Um, it's the 15 chakra system. So the first triad is the first, second, and third chakras. Fourth, fifth, and sixth, the heart, throat, and third eye. The seventh, eighth, ninth, crown, high heart, and medulla oblongata. 10, 11, 12. 10 is soul star, 11 is above that. And the number 12 is the Earth Star. Those function as triads. And then 13, 14, and 15th. The 13th is the Mother Arc Hub located in the Earth. 14th chakra, about three and a half feet above the head. 15th chakra is connection to the Father Arc. So those three, putting those in a sphere. But we'll be focusing on the lower three chakras, but we want to also stay in balance with the other triads that are coming online. So for a moment, for today, for many of you, that what I'm seeing is to engage these lower three chakras from your avatar light body. Mm -hmm. 
So that root holds the densest aspect of our beingness, the skeletal system, the second chakra right below your navel is sort of the dimensional access point for birthing new realities for unifying with the masculine and feminine aspects of living matter and all sentience on earth. Solar plexus, the third chakra right around the stomach area is our power center, as some would call it, in this human physical matrix. It has a replenishing connection with the sun. And when in divine union will function like a solar sun inside your body that's continuously navigating, regenerating and connecting to, and also connecting to higher realms is what they're um, sort of being shown. So I'm going to bring coherence now to these three, what we considered lower chakras, which is in a field of liquid antimatter, the blue and the black sphere is from the new earth star that's forming. There's a blue black energy to it of matter, antimatter, or anti antiparticles mostly right now, sorry. And allows for a connection with the liquid universes even. It's called forward all microcosmic aspects of your being through these lower three chakras. Allow these lower three chakras to fractalize and open new access points, new meridian channels. We're gonna take a moment now and focus on that second chakra and bring divine union of the feminine and the masculine together or the left and the right the right and the left. Also now focus on that diamond shape, the above and the below, the below and the above, the inner and the outer, the outer and the inner, the four directions that we know of on this planet, north, south, east, and west, bringing balance to all aspects of our being in those lower from that second chakra. Now connecting second chakra with third chakra, solar plexus above, with this energy of a liquid salamander or a fire serpent, connecting the second and first chakras, the salamander. Having functioned mainly as egoic beings on the planet has caused many of you to lose your connection with source consciousness, with the source of all that is. There has been reasons for mm, this limited system that humanity has walked through. But now it's really time to resolve 
the identity within these lower three chakras. The question's coming up. If I release this ego matrix that has held my reality and my self-identity together from these lower three chakra matrices, then what happens to me? So there's that fear of losing one's identity. Esha wa nata ti ese e o sono o o ne ayata ta 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 e kono to e si 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 sa asa wa no e esa wa no e ya a e i ya a o The answer that's coming is that you become one with the Godhead. You become one with your over soul, soul, and your monadic blueprint of the 12th dimensional human avatar. When you surrender to this, you do not lose your identity, but you regain your freedom. The idea of surrendering to a higher power outside of you has been laced with many fear tactics on this planet. So on the one hand, you've been given this fear to only worship one God and that there shall be no other gods before you. And yet, much of humanity has actually been worshiping a false God. Beings who had ventured off in a different direction from the original source codes and as eons of time passed by, then more and more distortions took place. And so humanity's notions of what God is even needs to be reframed. There is truly only one God, but each of you makes up that one God every vibration that you carry has been originally created from original, the original Godhead, the original source of all that is. And so by resolving this ego matrix, you regain your identity as a God sovereign being and you also regain your identity as the true human avatar that you were meant to be. You merge with that avatar light body which contains your unique blueprint and soul signature. Your identity is not 
made up of what you own or what you drive or what you covet from the outside physical world. You can draw those things to you for it is only natural as a beautiful creature of God that you would draw beauty to you and in you and around you. But let that be your unique signature of what you draw to you. Some people, as we're now seeing, they have very small homes so that they can travel the world with less things because they value the experience of traveling and being with new people and meeting new, new places. Whereas others may desire a big home and many exotic, perhaps exotic um, or luxurious physical belongings but that too is to reflect their soul signature and what they wish to draw into their life to feel supported and loved to give what they're here to give. So there's no value difference or judgment from source about what you draw to you only that you vibrate in alignment with your Christic avatar beingness. So take a moment now and let your ego self be resolved in this liquid pool of antimatter Everything is in divine order and being orchestrated for the highest good of all of humanity and all beings. There is disruptions and there are people still suffering. There's great suffering that goes on around the world still. And you can assist to make this transition by remaining true to who you are holding, not just holding, but becoming the vibrational anchor here on earth so that one day you'll see truly the new earth as you can imagine it to come into fruition. Your identity does not suffer from resolving the ego matrix. Your identity as a soul star being only becomes more magnified where it's so such a no, deep knowing that every cell in your body knows this truth and this fact. So take a moment and let's more deeply resolve these, this ego matrix starting with the the root at the bottom, calling upon the first dimensional earth dragon, Aswan. Aswan Tawatanatataza. za 
Ozo, I see, I see, ti, 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 ti. Ono to to ka wate e e e e e is. To that second chakra, calling upon the second dimensional earth dragon, Niawan. Niawan se te te te. Niawan i si no to do ai dis. E si ni te i. E si wa sa ai ta 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 ta. to the solar plexus. Solna, a third dimensional earth dragon. Esi sa u u u u u u u u u Engaging the creatrix of form from the diamond sun and the creation of source codes. We give to you these strands of DNA that belong to you, that belongs to humanity. These extra sets of DNA strands are being rewoven into the planet. Allow it to filter through your light body and make connections with the physical body so that you may begin to get used to these frequencies and vibrations. They contain Christic beings, Christic being elementals that are unique to each of you. And you will begin to reweave these codes as directed by the diamond sun. So keep yourself well hydrated, my children and allow yourselves to be nourished and bathed with these new strands. You'll see them as very different colors, shimmering. They may change colors as you see them coming down. You may see them doing a dance. You may see them 
clearing your energy field, clearing your other meridian channels. Engage all vertical channels, clear them of any miasma, close any dark portals that may have been opened, that you had not known was opened, that you can now seal. Let your avatar self close these portals, engaging the the horizontal channels that go across your body. They connect the east and west. Also clear miasma. And all aspects of your being that's connected to the artificial grid matrix of this last epoch. These horizontal channels that's been running the planet has really not been connected to original source consciousness. And has caused a great deal of damage from the consciousness of what we would call the undivine masculine that is warring and conquering. We release you from the horizontal web. the grid that's made of the horizontal and vertical channels. Now feel them. Feel your vertical and horizontal channels being filled with liquid white gold, just streaming down through the channels, vertically and horizontally. They connect with these lower three chakras, these axitonial lines. And from that tailbone area, drop a cord into the earth, to the 13th chakra of the mother hub. It's also now coming back online. Feel the liquid pool of energy from the mother that is replenishing and nourishing. There is so much love, bliss, ecstasy that fills you, your very blood, every capillary artery and Vein now is pulsing this liquid gold energy, filling you and cleansing you. Now let's draw a cord from that earth, the center of the earth, the mother hub. Draw a cord up, made of this liquid white gold. Draw it up through the center, goes right through your perineum, goes through every chakra, connects the heart to the high heart, which is the eighth chakra. Let that eighth chakra, or the high heart, draw a deep connection with the Gaia, with the Gaian consciousness, where all sentience and life matters on this planet. And now 
the liquid violet flame draw that energy up some more right into your throat engaging the liquid violet flame in your throat chakra to be the house and the center of your new 5d egoic identity by placing it in the fifth chakra we connect it to your soul so we access soul beginning from the fourth or the heart chakra and the fourth fifth and sixth chakras being a triad those three will work together so it brings together the mind connected with the sixth chakra this is your inner vision and also your outer vision of the world and how you can discern what is organic and what is not organic when you connect it to the heart. So we're going to draw the liquid salamander energy down from the third eye through your throat into the heart from the and into the high heart and also connecting to the heart chakra. So breathe deep with this connection. This is your egoic matrix now building and forming, connected with your soul essence. So now imagine that the fourth, fifth, and sixth chakras are in a sphere just like this one except this one is the outer ring is the blue and the black but on the inside the diamonds are pure white like white liquid gold energy let's just imagine those in a sphere that contains the fourth fifth and sixth chakras and your ego identity and now move that take that sphere and also move it down through the center of your body where the lower three of those lower three chakras are it's to make a connection now with your lower three chakras with the soul matrix and ego identity as soul so that we're not, mm, as those lower three chakras dissolve, then the ego identity now switches to become a soul being. Soul being expressing as a physical human expression. And say to yourself, I am spirit in matter. I am matter in spirit. Everything that passes through me is an experience as a unique soul Christic being. And as an avatar human, I have the ability to discern what is right for me. carry out my own soul mission here on the planet. Say to yourself also, if it feels right, I am the diamond sun. Let's use the kilt cubes of coherence from Sammy and take a moment imagine yourself in this cube of coherence and that every chakra is in within that 
So it's a giant, huge, huge uh, vector equilibrium, which is the shape on the outside of the zero point field and that cube of coherence. Contains your entire 15 chakra system. Allow it to deeply penetrate and dissolve and resolve anything that no longer resonates for you. Think about your ancestors and lineage and what you came to clear with the energy of the, in this cube of coherence. Also dissolve that. Feel centered and grounded. Send a cord, another cord from your tailbone into the earth or into the new earth star forming. Feel stable, aligned and balanced. Toko toko so na ti, toko toko na ta ti na ta ta. Ina wa ay si so na to kaya. Oh, oh, oh. Iwa niwa, iwa niwa, iwa niwa. In the name of the Holy One and all expressions of the Holy One, I consecrate this space I decree that all is done in accordance with divine law, divine will, Love one and with unity consciousness. And so it is. We invite you to listen to this meditation as often as you feel is necessary. I have found that. I need to repeat, there are certain meditations and energy processes that I repeat over and over. Um, not just the ones that I record, but from uh, energetic synthesis and um, well, mainly, uh, mainly those at this time. And um, they really help to keep clearing and clearing and being aligned. This is a very exciting time now to be alive. We hope that these meditations will be helpful to you. Again, look for our vlog coming up, I think probably next week, more on the, more on the Earth Star and the, the Dragon Chakra. I'll try and explain the best I can with what I know at this time. So 